Welcome back. We continue our election 2022 coverage with our political analysts, Dr. Stephen Voss and also Trey Watson. Thank you both for sticking around. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we've talked about some of those local races already, but another important measure on the ballot, those constitutional amendments, most importantly, Amendment 2, the uh, certainly the most controversial of the two. Uh, do you feel like that was explained well enough to the voters leading into this election cycle and just how big of a consequence is uh, uh, Amendment 2? Look, I think that there's a lot of confusion on the amendment. If you listen to a lot of proponents, um, some proponents are just claiming it's a ban on abortion, uh, which is also what the opponents are saying. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of proponents are saying it's not, it doesn't ban anything. No abortions be more or less legal the day after it would be enacted. Um, it's, it's purely uh, instructions to, to the judiciary to try to stop a activist judges. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of confusion. I think a lot of people believe that it's, it's they're voting on whether or not to ban abortion. Um, so I, I think that it's got, a, it's got a tough road ahead of it. You know, um, if yes or no, nothing changes immediately. And I don't know if people got that. Yeah. Uh, but what the debate's been over is what is likely to happen if Amendment 2 passes, which is to say it makes it very hard to protect abortion rights using the state Supreme Court, or if it fails, which is a signal is sent to the Supreme Court that maybe voters do believe ab abortion rights reside in their constitution. This was something interesting, too. I mean, when you talk about the length of the ballot, this is also the last thing that yeah. voters see on mm -hmm. here. Do you think that plays a role, too, in, in yeah, voters' Yeah, I, th I think you're going to see an, a, what we call an undervote on it, where there's more people voting at the top of the ballot than there is the end. I think something else, too, interesting that could happen on this is I think there are a lot of people, a lot of moderate Republicans, who might be unhappy with the Dobbs decision but are also very angry at the Democrats because of the economy. Uh, you could see some Republicans actually help with this because it will give them a place to wear, give voters a place to warehouse their anger over abortion by voting against this while voting against Democrats for the, because of the economy. Sure. Uh, so you know, I think that there's some interesting dynamics at play with, with how it'll play out up and down the ballot. You know, Amendment 2 was the caboose, mm -hmm. but I do think it drove, it was the engine driving a lot of people to the polls today. So yeah. maybe we won't see the drop off at the end we normally would. And nonetheless, I've seen comments, oh wait, there was a second page, you know, so <laughs> there will, or, you know, if you voted ticket and just hit Democrat or Republican and walked out, you didn't get to vote in all the nonpartisan and the amendments at the end. So I do think we'll see some drop off. We'll have more on Amendment 1 coming up, but after the break, stick around. We've got a look at sports for you.